Well, what is this? Pancakes! Oh, look at him. So cute. Omni, I had another dream. Mom, Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes, I did. She made me pancakes! I, I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite foods on their birthdays. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yes, I do. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Yes, I do. I love pancakes. Ah, uh, pancakes. The best in the morning to wake up to. Mm, me too. On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors really, um, make really good noodles. And, oh, one of our neighbors. One of our neighbors made a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Unfortunately, I don't. Oh, that sounds a bit lonely. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Ah, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Ah, yes, we shall. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gamers Grotto. My name is Omni, and I'm an idiot. Well, in the last, in the last, the last thing I was supposed, I was trying, I wanted to record was progressing into the refugee. I completely forgot to press fucking record on everything. I fucked up big time so badly. I really enjoyed that other episode too, the previous one. But the, it's, oh my god, I am so fucking retarded. I hate myself so much. Uh, uh, let me just recap before I continue on. There was a memory that we found a bed. There was a memory when he went to sleep and he woke up out of that and it was him in the fields again. But this time... He was running home, back to his village, and he was talking to me about have I ever been to a wheat field, and I said yes, and stuff like that. And then later on, when I was visiting the bird's house, uh, those two birds, um, Alam Alama? Alam, Al, Alam, uh, I don't know, I can't remember, but anyway, I went to their house, well, I was still in their house, and then I looked around a bit and talked to them, and there was just a whole bunch of things that went on, but the one thing that stood out was my immense stupidity that I couldn't find a pen, but I had to trade the wool, trade the wool, for a thing of ink. And when I got that thing of ink, remember that feather that was given to me? Um, I used that to write my name in that scroll. And then I passed through, I went to refugee, and then I found this engineer type of guy who was working on the elevator, but it seems to be missing a button that we might have to make. And also, before that, when I entered in Refugee, I should have mentioned this, Squares started chasing me. So I ran into Refugee, and then a big cut screen of Refugee came into, play, came into view. I crossed, 
and I came across this giant robot guardian who was guarding the Grand Guardi Garden, which where I had to take that seed, the one that was given to me, that Grand Colonel, that sacred Colonel, to regrow her, to replant her, to give her new life. And uh, the whole area was in the shape of a bulb, light bulb, like the sun. Um, and I already put her, her seed, um, into the flower pot that was in the center. I just need to find dirt. And I found this metal can that it's empty, but I can use that metal can to get some dirt. And I could use that dirt to put it in, uh, to put it in the ground, to fill up the, the pot. And then I can use that tube of water to, uh, plant her. And then I bet I have to use the light bulb to give sunlight and then go, PRAISE THE SUN! And then she'll sprout out of the ground going, hey! Anyway, enough uh, screwing around. We got to go. So, here is this engineer man, right here. Who, and here is the button, where it does not exist. So we gotta go find that. And down that way is to the restaurant that had that. Mmm, wait. Maybe I could go back and get some pancakes. So maybe I can do that. And yeah, see, those squares, they were chasing me. But now they blocked off everything. So can I order pancakes? No? Alright. I had a long conversation with him about what's going on, and he was telling me, you see how there's things fall missing? Rails, and this place is falling apart, basically. It's not stable. So this guy, I bet, is supposedly to fix all that. He makes things a lot better. So. I have to go that way, and I have to go this way. I don't know what's this way, so let's go. Okay, it's just straight into a house. Hello? It's a small tree. Maybe... Ah, damn. Metal can. Back out. Small tree. No. Hello? Talk to you. Hmm. It's wearing a dress, so I think it's a girl. So, and it's it sounds maybe fancy. So, good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my way. I wonder, I wonder how she could tell time. You know what, I think, I think she has a watch. It's a tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. Wow. A stapler. It's bolted to the table. There are just bolts. Uh, they are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use them though. What happened outside? Well, that was, uh, that was something. Anyway, this looks like another power station here. Some kind of computer terminal. Hello, I am the power room mechanic. Do you have any issue or report? Yeah, actually, the surface access elevator appears to be broken. The but there's a button missing here. Can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my program. Ah, never mind. Oh well. I guess we're gonna have to look somewhere else. Ooh. Music cut out, that's that's usually not good. 
goes up this way. Maybe progress. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let me go somewhere else first. Yeah, that looks like progression. I want to actually explore around a bit. Get some dirt. Here comes the ambulances. Okay. What is here? Hello? Nice view of the city, though. Hello? It's locked. Uh, locked. Locked. Open. Well, are you an intruder? Because if you are, I am model AXM, home security bot, T, T, trademark, serial number 39232B, A, 39W4, I, uh, will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I kind of just walked here because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspiciously, suspicious activity detected zero. Well, I guess um, as long as I don't do anything bad. Yeah. Okay. Let's just, let's just die. Maybe that was my first. Maybe I should have uh, known that. Maybe. Bathroom. Hey, look. What's that? It's a small potted plant. Maybe metal can. No? Fine. I need dirt. Give me dirt. I want dirt. Soap dispenser. It's a sink. Toilet. <laughs> I can't interact with any of them. Oh, hello. Well, that's creepy. There's a pair of scissors on the ground. On a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using these anymore, so... Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit disturbing, finding hair in a bathroom, just like that. So I imagine each and every one of these rooms are not... Oh, hello. Out of plant. This one has a pink flower in it. Out of plant. Maybe I have... It's a sign. Go in this room. Oh, hello. Hey, look at that. Whoa. Your head's a pot. You alright, mother? Uh, what should I give this guy? Um. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do. Grew all of them myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yup. Do you happen to have any dirt? For growing plants, I mean. Yup. Do you need some? Yes. I suppose to. I'm supposed to plant the seed left behind a plant, maybe. But the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks. Oh, sweet. I got dirt. That is pretty cool. That's a phosphor tree. Oh, it's like the ones I saw in Glen. I always wondered what they. Um, I always wondered where they're. Uh, where are the leaves? They are. They are not dead, are they? Oh, not at all. Although these trees are com composed of woody tissue, they're closer to grass, anonymous, um, anatomy-wise. So their branches are actually leaves? Sort of. What's interesting about these plants is that the amount of phosphor sap that they can generate. Phosphor? That's the glowy stuff, right? Yup. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from before the sun went down. Without the sun to recharge them, though, well, let's talk about something else. The black clovers. 
Aha, black clovers. Probably the only plant hardly and uh, hardy enough to survive naturally outside of glen. Personally, I think they're boring to look at. One of my customers really loves them, though. I think all the black clovers I'm growing here are for him, actually. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him in a while. I wonder where he, uh, when he's gonna come to pick these up. It's, it's we. Why are they in a flower? Why is it in a flower pot? Well, doesn't it look nice? I guess. I like to stand in the middle of a wheat field back in my village. It goes on for miles. Ah, I wish I could have seen it. In our world, wheat is usually only grown in small, isolated pots. Or in a flower pot. Empty flower pot. This tree has leaves. Ah yes, true foliage is hard to come by nowadays. You hardly ever see trees like these in the wild anymore. And the ones you do are pretty much all ra uh, raised artificially by people like me. Mostly for nostalgia purposes. Mm. So, pretty much almost everything is dead in this world. Filled with plant clippings. Compost. A watering can. It's half full. It's a sink. A seed dipper. Small garden trowel. The handle part is shaped like an owl. <gasps> I get it. Garden trowel. The head is shaped like an owl. Is it supposed to rhyme? I don't get it too much. I think I'm getting it, but it's a pink flower. Most of the plants in the world tend to grow in Even if facing the full, um, the flooding issues, it's still in better condition than the other two islands. The Barrens is, well, barren. the Barrens. The refugee city has barely enough ground to stand on, let alone grow stuff. Oh. A larger scale than this, I mean. On a larger scale than this, I mean. I wonder if I have to take this metal can. And... Nope. Uh, metal can and dirt? I can't combine those. Great. Well, I guess I can use the scissors on the dirt. So, now that I got dirt, I actually want to go back really quickly to that other place. But, since I'm still here, I have my nice explore and you know, it's not to explore. So I'll just go all the way back to that garden. Actually, travel. You cannot fast travel. Great. Okay. Ah, great. Wrong button. Just like everything. All right. Well, I finally made it back, and we're going to plant this young lady again. And you see, this is the garden. I already put the kernel in there. Take some scissors to the dirt. No, take the dirt to this. I hope this helps you grow a little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a bit dry. Well, we can take this tube of water. Good thinking, Omni. Water should help the seed grow. Hmm, the dirt is not nice and moist now, but what if it dries out? There's only so much water from this little tube. I'll hold on to the tube for now, just in case. We've given the dirt now, but will that be enough? Well, uh, it should be. Uh, how about we take the light bulb? No, I guess not. Back out. There we go. The controls, they're still getting to me. Well, it's in this door. Hello. Okay. What a meaningful conversation. Hello. What are you? It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. 
That scared me. What is that? I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. Maybe it's just... Oh no, no, what have I done? What? Do it! Oh no, haha, <laughs> that was close. I didn't want to ride it because if, um... Ah, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Anyway, we're moving on. Hello, this is huge. It's a full pot of coffee. Hey, whoa. My head was in the middle of the screen. This is pro is this a library or something? No? Okay. A lot of shiny magnets on there. It's a fridge. It has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy. Hope no one will mind taking it. Just a trash can. I w why is my speech right there? Hello, TV man. Hey there. Hello. You the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her in needlework. I will. When I see her again. Nice scarf on you, too. Um. What would I use magnets for? Magnets on a metal can? The magnets don't stick to aluminum. Maybe I have to go back to the area I was progressing in. Okay. But at least I explored everywhere. Now I can move on forward to different areas to understand what I have to do. Instead of acting like a complete idiot. And now it's quiet. It's actually not quiet. It's, there's some music. It's up this way and... Heavy piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door of some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. I wonder what it's for. The stairway's up. Keep going up, 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 or down, down, down. I don't know. Well. I've actually never seen a... I've never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of the world's population live he's, lives here. Yeah, big cities hold big people. Like the view? Well, let's move on then. very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of it in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest building in our village is only two stories tall. And that's probably that clock tower. Is there something wrong? What about you, Omni? Where do you live? Hmm. Where do I live? I really don't know. It, it is a city, but do I call it that? I'm not really in a city like the refugee. No, I'm not in a village like Ecos. I'm sort of in the between. So, someplace else. Someplace else that isn't a city or a village? Like a ship? Well, maybe not a ship. Can you imagine a living city, living in a city like this, though? I can't. It's kind of scary. But also really cool. Yeah, it can be. Oh. What's down here? 
Did I just completely go into a circle? I just went into a full circle. Great. Okay. Oh no. Not another one. You're gonna need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. This computer printed out a strange trans transparent sheet. Still clueless? Figures. Want another tip? No. Fine. Keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Weird film, transparent sheet filled with numbers. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, expose it to the void, huh? Hmm. Do I have to approach one of those freaking square things? There is a void beyond the four walls that binds our worlds to yours. The edge of your viewport is where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again. Pass it through the void and back! The four walls! Oh. Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Well, that, 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 oh, why did I not get that? Cast it into the void and bring it back. Six, three, zero, one, four. Damn. Six, three, zero, one, four. Woo! I figured it out. Hell yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That man said something about magnets, but I don't see why, um, don't see a way to fit these in the panels by themselves. So maybe they don't stick to aluminum, but... Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut a piece out of it and fold it into a rectangle shape. Just like arts and crafts. Hmm. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. How are you going to connect it to the elevator? Well, let's find out. Button? Okay, now I got an idea. Usually when Omni gets an idea, he knows what to do next. And I know what to do. So we're gonna go to this tape thing, and we're gonna take this button. It's a tape dispenser. It's bolted to the table. Yeah, we're gonna use that on that. Magnetic stick to aluminum. Oh, but we folded them underneath the edge. Mm. It's holding it together. That's it's good enough. Magnetized buttons on tape dispenser, of course. I gotta tape it together or it might fall apart. Good thinking, Omni. Yeah, a taped button. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, also, I gotta figure out... Um, it was 6314, right? Something. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It was that. Yeah, 63014. 63014. Six three zero one four. Got it. Over six six three zero one four. Let's hope this works. It works. Oh God, no.
Please input security code to continue. What? This never happened before. The squares. Hmm? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh, no, the square stuff happens all the time. I mean the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been in this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should go look up for code. Please input security code to continue. I know it! Zero, one, four. There we go! What? It works! I don't know how what you did, but it actually works! Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that. Well, I had help from Omni, too. Oh, right. The whole messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? I'll be up ahead. Oh, thank you for holding the ele elevator door for me, mister. No prob. Hop in. I never trusted elevators. I still don't. This is nice. Just going down the ground floor. Sure is taking a while. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with a messiah. And also literally God himself. And also literally God themselves. This is awkward. Oh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Omni, should I... Ask about a job city. I'm asking about the Zoom awkward silence. <laughs> Ask about the city. The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded too. First there was refugees from the barons, and now more Glen folk are coming in. Oh. It's just safer here, you know. I mean, it's not a haven by any means. Uh, that square stuff that we just saw now. We get more of that. <sighs> Excuse me. We get more of that here anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The landmass itself is still holding up. Which is good since, it, um, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Alright, I um, mean, should I ask about the library? Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lights are pretty high maintenance, but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Omni. Alright. Good job. So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights mostly. But now I also deliver and refill high energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff that had to be processed in factories. That's. Um, it's what powers most of the city stuff. Ooh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just have to... I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs, but they really, co uh, but they seem really concerned about something else. Lately. Oh, never a good sign when even the smart folk are worried. <laughs> and it seems like we're on the ground floor. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh, Nico. Right, see you around. Kid. Gotta run now. Literally. 
He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Omni. People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Yes. Uh, let's find that library. There are a lot of interesting people here. Anyway, I have to end this episode here. It's been going on long enough. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe to stay updated on more of my content. And remember that Gamers Grotto is home for all games to all gamers. So don't be afraid to recommend any game to me. Thank you, and have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.